Hey, we're living out on our holiday trip. Um, but before we do that, probably the shittiest part of this lifestyle is about to happen. Our really good friends that we've been hanging out with the last few weeks since we've been here, they're moving on to the next part of their journey. So they're on their way over to say see you next time. Uh, we don't say goodbyes because uh, we likely will run into them again. And uh, we hope we do, and we're going to try to. But first, we have to get rid of that boat anchor of a truck we have. That will be going back to the U.S. here in a few weeks, and then, uh, and then that will be that. Out there, um, still with a little daylight left. These passing of souls are simply part of this lifestyle. It makes you focus on enjoying your time together, because at some point, it will end, and left behind are great memories and a hopeful thought that someday, just someday. Our paths will cross again somewhere out there in the vast sea. to let you know that uh, we are headed out this morning um, going to head to San Francisco thank you for your effort uh, how many people aboard we have three people aboard okay thank you you have a nice day for about 10 days tell them we'll be gone about 10 days uh, sir we'll also we'll be gone about 10 days okay Ten days, perfect. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Over now. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Who says that? Costa Baja Marina is where we currently call home. It's on the northern end of Bahia La Paz. It's the first marina you come to when you come around the the uh, corner from uh, Cabo San Lucas. It has about 250 slips. It's a double basin marina. It has boats from 250 feet down to small fishing boats. All the electricity and power you could ever want. Amenities like restaurants and spas and hotels and swimming pools and all those different things are available as well. Um, the very famous ship called the Seven Seas, which is owned by Steven Spielberg, calls Costa Baja Marina home in the winter months. Um, and Tammy and I just love it here. If you're looking for a place, we highly recommend it. There are many others in La Paz to choose from. We like this one in particular because it provides us a great protection from the weather, um, no matter what direction the wind or the, the weather is coming from.
first stop is going to be Colada Partida. Bay, it's in between two islands. This is the Isthmus. This island is Partida. This island is Isla Esparti. It's how I always pronounce it wrong. Fuck, I'll figure it out. Anyway, just absolutely nice and calm in here. We're in about 20 feet of water. We can dingy to this beautiful beach that's up here. It's absolutely amazing. We already took the dogs up. They had an amazing time. And look who's here. What are you goobers doing? Waiting to see the seal seal. Are you waiting to see the seal seal? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I saw him come up, but he has at least surfaced again. And I found a need for our chairs. They're yeah, like they're recliners. great up here. They're recliners here. Yeah. They're great. So win win. Did you tell them also on the beach there was uh it's kinda like we're gonna call it Krabby Patty Beach. What's why? Because it was full of little tiny holes that crab were going in and out of. Uh. The ones that the crabs that have the one claw, the one big huge claw. Waiting for a pork rind to fall. Wishing for a fallen pork rind. Sissy, what's your story? She's just going to sit over there like a tweaker. She's like, I'm a genetically enhanced feral dog. Don't even ask me stupid questions like that, you fucking dumb human. So I have a story to tell on how you can lose something uh, that's not very small on something that's only 50 feet long. When we were in Cabo, I'd been trying to rig up a hose to plug into the freshwater system so we could have a flush, wash the dog hairs down, off the cockpit, things like that, clean fish. And so I finally found this part that I can do that with. And uh, we've been looking for, for it for about two weeks. Um, but today, today I went to uh, charge the toothbrush and right in behind the toothbrush here, is the freaking part, the part that allows me to plug the freaking hose into the freshwater system on the outside of the boat. Ugh, so embarrassing. But at least this time it wasn't just me looking for it. Tammy didn't find it either. And don't let her tell you any differently.
East of San Francisco is a crescent-shaped bay located about 45 nautical miles north of La Paz. It's absolutely stunning white beach, about 20 foot of crystal clear water. It's a great place to be when the wind's coming from the north. We get asked a lot about what we do with the dogs, how do we transport them back and forth, and here comes the poop taxi now. Look at them, they're like passengers. You got front seat, a back seat. Well, as Mother Nature would have it, the wind shifted from the west and made a really unpleasant uh, anchorage, and we headed to the next place here to San Evaristo. <laughs> So good together Think Bonnie and Clyde Hit that kind of vibe A love that couldn't last forever Explosive right A dynamite But now my heart's so heavy You moved on with your life And left me out I thought that we would last forever Bonnie and Clyde Baby, now I'm here in the flashing lights Drowning out my sorrows Looking for someone in the neon lights Who can make me laugh restaurant in San Evaristo is absolutely spectacular. They are fantastic cooks. The cervezas are muy fria. The price is just right. The atmosphere is super cool. That kid has sat here all day, every day, and just stared out at what he calls his TV. You also get an opportunity to meet Barbara. She's super sweet, and that's his Loopy's daughter. And we thought, hey, why not just take the Maverick Pro out for a spin and let uh, Barbara drive it around her home bay of San Evaristo. And so here it is. We collide, we break down Caving in to our doubts Faces filled with sadness When words are said, we'll regret
Over the next couple of days, we went on several hikes up and out of the bay. We found the local school, the local salt flats where they manufacture salt for the La Paz community. I'm not sure that they use it anymore because there was a bunch of cattle uh, using it. Uh, but it was nice to get out and walk around and get different views of the bay and see different foliage and trees. Just an amazing uh, couple of days of walking around uh, someplace we'll probably never ever walk again. <laughs> 